Look at that. Staff a crack, kids. That's bad. You look at that. Just look at that. Hey, I caught you looking at that. You looking at my rear end? Of course you were. You know, it's desirable. Juicy. I don't know. Thick. <laughs> thick. Yeah, <laughs> thick. That's for sure. Anyway, welcome back to Blanco Bronco Adventures. And, you know, this time we're lifting the Bronco to put 49 inch mud tires on it. We're not. We're not doing that, actually. You don't always have to be the first guy to do the biggest tire. What's that show about you? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fact of the matter is, by the title of this video, you've seen that we're doing another Metal Cloak install on the Blanco Bronco. What do we have, Monica? It's a track bar that I can barely pick up. It a is track bar. so heavy. What is a track bar? So a track bar, I'll give you an education. Simple. A track bar keeps your axle underneath your rig from going side to side. As cool as that can be, your track bar solves that. Now there's other types of track bars out there to keep the axle from going side to side. You've got what we have in the Bronco where it just starts up high on the driver's side and goes down low on the rear end on the passenger side. Or you've got what's called a Watts link. A Watts link is the same idea as a track bar but it's two separate bars that end up mounting on a pivot point and they go side to side like that. I know See what that is. the picture, the yeah. diagram? It's doing the same thing that I'm doing here. Track bar does the same thing. The idea is to keep your axle centered. It's all you're doing. The biggest thing with a track bar, and when you lift a vehicle, well, your factory track bar will now be too short. It's a fact. You used to it. If you got a short track bar, you just call up Metal Cloak. They have an adjustable track bar. We'll zoom in on this and show you. But when you lift a vehicle, that track bar's got to follow suit, or I think it can actually be a limiting factor to how much articulation you can get out of the rear end. Now we've already done the trailing arms and we've adjusted our rear end about a quarter inch back from factory. And don't worry, we got it aligned after we did that because we're moving the geometries around. Geometries, that's the word. After we adjust it, we're gonna get it aligned. You can install this because it's super simple. It's literally two bolts. Like you could do curly cues on it. Is this, what did they make this out of? Chrome Molly. Chrome Molly. Molly, you're chrome. And you look good doing it, all right? Chrome Molly means it's strong. They literally build race car chassis out of the same stuff because it's almost indestructible. So here's what we got. We got the track bar. You've got literally a factory bolt here and a factory bolt there. Undo those two when it's not fully articulated like we are now. I'm going to set it down. I just wanted to show you guys. Now, if you've been following the channel, you remember way back, we ended up putting a rough country two inch lift on here. Now, that lift's gone. We put coilovers on since, but with the rough country lift, they knew the factory track bar was gonna be too short. So they actually put in a riser piece. They'll get a rise out of me right there. And is what they did that for is you wanna keep this track bar as parallel with the rear end as you can during articulated situations. Gotta keep it articulated. Anyway. So we're going to remove that, I think, which, so on mine, that's why you're seeing two bolts. So I'm going to undo the two and then there's a little one here, but you won't have to worry about that if your Bronco's not lifted. Now, the Bronco's still lifted. We just adjusted that lift in the coilovers. So two inches of lift versus that puck spacer thing on the Sasquatch package. So I'm going to grab my 24 millimeter and I'm going to rip this thing out of the Bronco and we'll compare them on the bench. I got to get my 24 millimeter. Get up. Get up, I'm up. And there it is. Factory, non-adjustable track bar. You lift your Bronco, you're gonna have to address this guy. Now, the way the Rough Country lift addressed it was literally this bolted in place, lifted the track bar up, kept it on that same plane of being flat. Now, real time, you're seeing this as I'm seeing this. Look at that. Look at that. Staff a crack kids that's bad that's real bad all right if this would have broke 
we wouldn't have like lost the track bar by any means because it was bolted lower and higher but this was just helping keep it in there that's unhappy so that's cool take your broncos and play with them you know that's what happens now your factory track bar it's not impressive just so you know i mean you can just hear the quality difference just sounds hollow really cheesy chrome molly is awesome now how much adjustment do you really get out of the metal cloak joints i mean it's about massive is what that is like over two and a half inches Pfft, huge the fact of the matter is is this is why you put an adjustable track bar in when you lift a vehicle so you can make it work and you can stay away from things like this that can throw you in you know a curveball issue now is what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall this with the factory hardware and uh we're going to give this some adjustment so i can get rid of this bracket i don't know exactly how much adjustment that's going to be if you don't have a lifted bronco and you're doing this just to upgrade suspension components all you got to do is thread this guy all the way back in you take your factory bolts and just wiggle them through here lock both bars together get your other factory bolt and do the same thing down here because then oh not going through i know that i need to give this maybe a rotation of adjustment maybe a little bit more and boom now i know this is exactly the same as the factory track bar length lock down our lock nut throw it on in now one thing to note you can see that metal cloak has designed a bow in their bar it's intentional what why what are we trying to clearance we well, got your rear differential right there so make sure the bow of this is going around your differential that way when you're articulating it it has clearance clearance anyway we're gonna put this in and there it is metal cloak track bar installed huge shout out to metal cloak for uh sponsoring today's video links in the description where you can pick yourself up all these sweet gold parts for your rig it's your rig only better now these aren't just pretty parts on your rig these are functional fully adjustable parts now the recommendation you're adjusting stuff your geometry has possibly just changed for the better take it to an alignment shop double check your work you can install it but let the professionals adjust everything like it should be you're driving this down the highway with your family in here get off the couch go create an adventure we will see you next time and thanks for watching